electrophysiology means electricity. Okay, again, we are talking about the electrical potential, for example, resting membrane potential. We said that in the case of the neuron, it's negative 70. Let's keep scrolling down. The main ions involved on this are sodium and potassium. So we keep scrolling down. That's just history. We said the most important ion outside is going to be sodium. Most important inside is going to be potassium. Again, once you receive the stimulus, remember sodium channels open. The sodium goes from the outside, extracellular, inside to the intracellular area. And because of that, the polarity is going to change, right? It's going to change from negative 70 to positive 35. Eventually, once positive 35, potassium will come out and that will return the cell back again to the resting potential. Now we have local potentials. So local potentials, they start, but they don't reach the trigger zone. Therefore, those are weak stimulus because they are not strong enough in order to reach the trigger zone. Not only that, they can start and stop, and they're reversible because they will start over again. So let's keep going down. So again, you have in here the stimulus, the sodium goes in, but it's not strong enough in order to produce an action potential. So let's keep going down. So this is local potential, so right there. What are the characteristics of a local potential? They are decremental, right? They start, but then they don't reach the trigger zone. They are graded, they are reversible. They can be excitatory or inhibitory. And right here, you have a nice table where you can compare action potential and local potential. Action potential, that's what we have been talking about so far, you know, potassium, sodium, and the depolarization and the repolarization, all those things. So right here, we have the graph again. So we said resting potential, depolarization, repolarization, action potential. Okay, let's keep scrolling down. So in here, they are explaining how that happens, which I already covered many times. Polarization, depolarization, let's keep scrolling down. Right here, they are showing you that, you know, negative 70 channels are closed, but what happens then? This negativity starts to becoming positive because sodium starts going inside the cell up to positive 35, more or less. Once it reaches positive 35, then this channel sodium close, channels for potassium open, potassium starts coming outside the cell, and then this goes back down to negative 70. That's what we call repolarization. Okay, so I'm not going to explain much time on that. Here are characteristics of the action potential. So we said this is all or non law, meaning once it starts, it starts. You cannot stop it. Okay, non-decremental, meaning once you start, it doesn't reduce the stimulus or it doesn't decrease in the stimulus. And the action potential irreversible will continue until it reaches the end of the neuron. Refractory period, right here you have the action potential again, depolarization, repolarization. It's called absolute refractory period because you have one stimulus right here and another stimulus cannot happen at the same time. There's something else called relative refractory period. Okay, relative refractory period refers to this part. You see the yellow column right here? Okay, this is negative 70. This is the resting potential. However, as you can see here, when the potassium starts coming out, so you can reach the negative 70, a lot of times the channels keep open, even though you already reached negative 70, so the potassium going out overshoots the negative 70 and goes even beyond that. So let's say this point is negative 80, or less at this level, right? Negative 80 right here. Okay, so let's assume this is negative 80. This point right here is going to be negative 70. So we know that an action potential starts at negative 70. However, uh, the theory says that if you have a stimulus that is very strong, you can start an action potential right here when it is not the resting potential. So when you start an action potential in a point which is not negative 70, you will start it in this yellow area. Therefore, that's why it's called relative refractory period because you can initiate it even though it's not negative 70.